You know, that's a drastic career change. Coming from an 80% success rate with the NYPD to owning a cafe in Santa Monica. Well, coffee makes people happy. Finding dead children doesn't. You gave those people closure and took away their hope. Look, I know you saw something when you touched me the other day. I felt it. And I told you that part of my life is over now. So what do you do? You just, you just turn a blind eye? I prefer to think of it as living a normal life. Claire, I'm not going to pretend I know you or even remotely understand what you've been through. But that won't stop you from passing judgment on me nonetheless. I'm just saying you can't change who and what you are. And next you're going to tell me that this is a gift, not a curse. How are you going to feel knowing you could help someone and you didn't? I am helping someone. Me. You're going to forget your nightmares the minute you're awake. That is when mine just begin. Look, I just want to know. Is something going to happen to me? Sometimes I see the past. Sometimes it's the future. I, I, most of the time, I can't even tell the difference, so... Please. I saw a young woman. Blonde. She was very upset. And this is going to sound really crazy, but she had an eye dangling from her neck. What does that mean? I told you, I just provide the pieces. It's up to you to complete the puzzle. Or not. So, are you here to take down a complaint against me for breaking a woman's heart? Uh, no, um, I just had a couple more questions for yesterday's report, but... Marnie's not home, and I just ran three very long miles out of my way to apologize. Don't suppose you could help a tired citizen in need? Well, it doesn't fall under the whole serve and protect thing, but, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I should go back to the doctor. Maybe you should tell me what's really on your mind. I know you too well, Corey. Really? Then why don't you tell me how I felt when I found out that you told Will about our infamous night together? He finally told you about that, huh? Of course he did, TC. He was hurt. It wasn't my honesty that hurt him. It was your lack of it. It's none of your business. It is my business when your boyfriend basically backs me into admitting it. Oh, come on, TC. You're not that easily manipulated. In case you haven't noticed. Not exactly myself these days. Oh, you're damn right. Because the old TC would never have betrayed my trust like that. weather miss snow i mean uh, being housebound in a snowstorm can be a lot of fun if the company's good <laughs> parker hey what are you doing here we got a hit from the postcard vendor it says our runaway's crashing here somewhere nearby well uh this is my neck of the hood maybe i can help hmm. looks like a nice kid listen i'll keep my eye out for it hey speaking of nice kids how's your sister doing great it, uh, except when I get home a little later than I promised. Hey, how about you give me your number and maybe I'll let you buy me a drink. Well, I will await your call with bated breath. And uh, good luck with your search. Wow, that was interesting. You know what's more interesting? He's from Minnesota. A town over from Bonnie Matthews. Okay, okay. I don't believe in coincidence either, but why would a perp be trying to pick up a cat? Why don't you check his prints and find out?
You didn't really come all this way only to abandon me, did you? Why'd you lock me in? Man has always kept his treasures under lock and key. That's how we keep them safe. Or hidden. Now, we both knew that that would be necessary in the beginning. Why don't you trust me? Because girls your age can do some pretty stupid things. I'm just saving you from yourself. You're saving your active social life. Isn't that really what it is? Honey, the love I have for you is as pure and unspoiled as you are. If I so much as dirtied my hands on any of those whores, I wouldn't be worthy of you. Then why were you flirting with that cop? Perhaps a better question would be how a postcard vendor led the cops to my neighborhood in the first place. I'm sorry, I was just trying to show my parents how much happier I am without them. I understand. But, nevertheless, you broke the rules, little sister. But that's okay, though, isn't it? Because tomorrow I'm not going to be so little anymore. Haven't you misbehaved enough for one day? I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but as I already told you on the phone, the doctor won't write you a prescription without talking to your primary physician first. Look, I understand you're just trying to do your job, but if I could just see the doctor... He's booked solid the rest of the day, but maybe if you came back tomorrow... Tomorrow? I've been in pain. Every second of every minute of this day, do you realize how far off that makes tomorrow? Now, come on! If I could just see the doctor for five minutes... Why don't you give us your doctor's name and number? We'll call his office and see if we can work something out. Hey, so what's the word on those fingerprints? Bobby's getting them right now. Uh, where's the lieutenant? Oh, wait, let me guess. He's recovering from the big bomb you just dropped on him, right? Please tell me you did tell him. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Harper, he's been a little preoccupied. Well, what could possibly distract him more from the pain in his leg than... Ready for this? Ken Carter really is from Minnesota. And he really is Ken Carter. However, he was arrested for assault with a deadly back in 94. And this makes him our prime suspect in a runaway case? The guy he nearly beat to death with a baseball bat was the boyfriend of his younger sister, Lacey. The same sister that's staying with him now? The same sister that killed herself five years ago on her 18th birthday. Remind you of anybody? Police! Anybody here? The place is clean. Maybe we were wrong. Maybe he doesn't have her. Well, we were too late. Wait a minute. There is someone who can place Carter with Bonnie Matthews. His ex-girlfriend, Marnie Banks. Everything here looks okay. Except for the two days worth of mail and newspaper at the front door. Yeah, well, who else knows she saw Carter with our runaway? No one. Except Carter. 